So there's a reason why Jack Reese and Tyson Fury are sitting on this screen right now. And we want to start out by giving respect to Tyson Fury. He brought the fight to Deontay, Deontay Wilder. He embarrassed Deontay Wilder. He showed Deontay Wilder up in the manner in which I have to honestly say was expected. Those of us that follow boxing avidly, we already know what Tyson Fury can do. We already have seen his boxing, his keen boxing skill on display multiple times. I didn't expect anything different in this fight. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't expect anything different than what I saw. Due to the fact that Wilder does not have a boxing, a true boxing background. He does not have a very solid skill set. He can't defend himself that well. He doesn't move his feet well. He doesn't move his head. He barely utilizes a jab. Okay? There's a lot more to that, but need I say more? So, I didn't expect to see anything other than what I saw. But congratulations to Tyson Fury. Now to move on to what the aftermath is all about. Because this is what this is. This is the aftermath of what took place on Saturday night. So Fury, according to most people, got in the ring and outboxed Wilder for eight to 10 rounds of boxing. Wilder seemingly only by most, most people's point of view, won those two rounds that he scored the knockdowns in, and that was it. So here's where things get sticky for me. Fury did what he had to do. He outboxed Wilder. He made Wilder look silly. He um, built up a lot of points pretty much every round, had the better punching output. He, you know, got in there and uh, he pretty much did what we all expected him to do, right? The problem is, is when he went down. Now, we're not going to talk about the long extension that Jack Reese was giving this guy once he was knocked down twice in the fight with the count. We're not going to talk about the delay. That's not what piqued my interest with this. What piqued my interest was the fact that Jack Reese decided that he was going to take matters into his own hands and ruin a historical moment in boxing. He decided that he was going to allow Tyson Fury to regain consciousness after those knockdowns. Tyson Fury began to move to his right due to the fact that Reese told him to. Move to your right. Walk over there. And he did this on both knockdowns, especially the one. The one that I highlight the most was the one in the 12th round when the fight was on the line between both guys. <clears throat> now, you tell him to move to your right like this is a DUI stop. You tell him to move to your right as if he received a low blow or an illegal blow to the back of the head. You tell him to walk it off. This is a knockdown in a championship fight, okay? Tyson Fury was allowed to put his skill set on display. All of the jabbing, all of the moving, all of the herky-jerkiness, all of the slickness. He was allowed to put his full barrage of punching and skills on display. Now, we all knew Deontay Wilder had one trick, and that was the knockout punch. He should have been allowed to display what he had. That's the problem. He should have been allowed to display what he had. And when he had those two moments in the fight, it was taken from him. It was stolen from him. 
I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you know, he's only riding with this guy because he's black. Well, in all honesty, man, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Black, white, I love boxing. But even if I was riding with him because he was black, what does that have to do with anything? In all honesty, what does that have to do with anything? Jack Reese stole that man's moment. He stole the moment from him because that's all he had was those two moments. Tyson Fury had the entire fight, according to all of you fight fans out there, all of you analysts. He had the fight in the bag. Why take away two moments in the fight? Why? So that's my major malfunction. That's my major problem with what happened in the fight. 12th and final round, he did the same thing. Oh, 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 move to your right. Move to your right. Walk, walk for me over there. And then having a full-on conversation with this man in the midst of championship fight, in the midst of momentum, in the midst of a moment, you know, that was getting ready to solidify him, that being Wilder, the new, line, the new lineal champ. We all wanted this guy to go over to the UK and face Joshua. And that moment was stolen from him. Anyway, I'm out.